No, oh, what I was going to say is, is, is the other thing with the line that we pointed out a million times is, you know, again, if I'm a defensive coordinator, I'm not going to send my pass rusher to get stonewalled one after another with Trent Williams. I'm going to send him to the other side and make him work that way or whatever, you know, like, oh, yeah. you know, so it's like, so the, 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 the struggles have been magnified now because now it's happening where league wide, where they're like, okay, we're not even going to try that side. We're just going to have to move the other side. So, um, you know, but the line, the line is probably the only thing that's really got me actually. And, and this is coming from a guy who was scared about the secondary, but if, if Jason Verrett can do what he did last week, in, that was big in single man coverage, Jason Verrett has a chance to be something that Richard Sherman is not a man. Exactly. Cover guy. And that has big ramifications because now the Niners can play both. They can disguise their coverages. I mean, Richard Sherman's great at what he does, for sure. but he limits the rest of the defense. For sure. And, and if the whole defense is in zone every play, then eventually the Chiefs are going to figure you out and put up 30 in the Super Bowl. If the Niners could have had a little bit more variation, Jason Verrett is a huge, big deal. He, right. I didn't see it in camp. That's he what was, I was going to ask. He's keeping himself healthy. He gave up a big play, and I wrote him off. It was to Brandon Ayuk early, but he stuck with it. I he really didn't give up any more that. big plays. And right. he's healthy now, and now he's got confidence. Oh my goodness! If he can, I, I don't remember hey. the last time the Niners had a corner like this. Thank you. Right. I don't. Right, hey, bro. He's good. I I, I I I sat back and watched his play. I was like, okay, good first quarter, and then in the middle of the second quarter, they threw a, a pass to the wide receiver. I think it was a screenplay. Yeah, the was right there at yep. a tackle for law, That's and confident. he was physical. That's and, and I said. Okay. I said, he's not protecting himself okay. anymore. Yeah. yeah. Right. He's yeah. playing, right? He's playing. And those are the type of plays that we've seen Emmanuel Mosley make, right? Yes. Hungry. Yes. I don't yes. care. I'm going to be physical with you. I know that I'm smaller than you, but I'm going to be in your face all day. And that's how we might have something. And he went on yeah, the, the, the two game, best corners on the team might be Mosley. There's, there's, an argument, there's an argument for that. I yeah. wouldn't. I'm not jumping to that that quickly, but there's an argument. Red has to stay healthy. Yeah, yeah, and that's the thing. You know, like, but, like, you know, the other thing is, too, is, like I said, Verrett wasn't covering Golden Tate in the intermediate. Darius Slayton can, ch ch um, like, try you up top, and he's by himself, and we're running a bunch of single high. Like, look, the Giants didn't yeah. look good, but that and, – and that play that you're talking about, I looked and I was like, wow, this guy yeah. has his confidence back, and that's huge, hey, man. So hey, it's Jake, like – bro. Yeah. Hey. Uh, my, so, so – Tell, tell tell the people what Darius Slayton did to, to 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 the other team. Well, Pittsburgh has let's just put it out there a better secondary than the 49ers. And Darius Slayton was you, working in the field you, deep and, and, and he caught a bomb. He had about 140 yards in that game or something like that. Like that's you know, to limit him is is a big deal, man. Like it it I, I walked away very, very impressed with Jason Verrett, man. Like and and he like like Grant said, he just adds, he adds something to this team that we haven't had, and, and, and it's a guy who can follow anybody. Send All them. of a sudden, Robert Sala's better. Right. All of a sudden, his coverages are, are like – it seemed like Daniel Jones was legitimately confused yep. in that game. And I don't remember the Niners, like, confusing quarterbacks. I've seen them, like, terrify quarterbacks, but that's different. And they right. have to confuse him now because Bosa and Ford are out. That's great. And, that, and that's a great sign, man, because yeah. that's all we were yelling about um, week one. Like, change the scheme up. You have to, like, you know, like, do something different. And now we're watching. This is, again, coaching uplifts the talent. There's a culture that is here now that we, we haven't known in a long time like this. Uh, uh, Niners teams yeah. down the line with this many injuries would have folded up and just No doubt. Up. Like, the Eagles have folded up already, right. which they have. I got something to say real quick, too. If the Dude. Niners had Jason Verrett week one like they had him last week, they would have won. They would have beaten the Cardinals. They, they should have beaten the Cardinals anyway, but that's how important this addition is. Extremely happy, man. I'm happy to eat crow on this. Um, I'm happy to eat crow on me this. Me, too. Yeah. Me, too. It, it, it really seems like Anytime the like, science is getting better. These players players do a better job coming back. Sorry. Sorry, Dre. You're, you're a little yeah, lag. Yeah. You're having a tough time. My bad. You know. No, it's all good, bro. This, right. this is this is a collaborative effort right here. It's it's all good, bro. Um, right. so we're we're talking about the coverages and and you know that Daniel Jones, you know, really looked confused. So yeah. can we start to say that the new uh back coach that we got is a little bit more aggressive than the last one that we had? That's now in because we've seen a lot more man man coverage, right? Right. Jason, you can go first. If you no, want. you got it. You got it. The way I see it is I, I really think this is a reflection of Sherman 
I think the Niners coaches have been doing what's best for their personnel. And I think it's, they feel it's unfair to put Sherman in a lot of man-to-man coverage in any situation. And now that he's out there, you're seeing what they want to be on defense. I think they were making con- mm. con- um, concessions concessions for Sherman. I think, I think you have to, if you put Sherman in man-to-man too much and he gets burnt, who knows what he's, I mean, he's a very, he's a volatile, uh, opinionated, outspoken person. I think if you have him on your team, you play to his strengths. 